Say the line, Bart! Yo, what's up? Moki here. We have a new movement tech. Yeah! It's called Elite Jumping and looks like this. This was found by Buttonsy. The link to her video in it is in the description. Click it, like it and tell Buttonsy how handsome she is in the comments. And the next time I look at her channel it better be at more than a thousand subs. You hear me? As with all new movement tech, yes, someone, somewhere has likely done this before. But if me, Fate and Taxi2G have never heard about it, I want that. it's fair to call it new. No, your buddy Kevin has not been doing this since release. Thank you. Elite jumping is at its core just a normal zipline super jump. But you turn 180 degrees in between the interact and scroll wheel jump. Because of that controllers will not be able to do it. Even on a sensitivity of 10 I'm pretty sure you just can't turn around quick enough. Think of it as three distinct actions. Interact, turn, scroll wheel jump. This helps in not getting the order or timing messed up. You will still need to train it a bunch though. It looks like the longest delay in between an interact and a scroll wheel jump is about 100 milliseconds. If you input the scroll wheel jump after that you will not get the height of a super jump. But just a shallow zipline jump like this. So the 180 degree turnaround has to happen in those 100 milliseconds or quicker. When doing zipline super jumping you likely have been doing the interact and scroll wheel jump rather simultaneously. So train to do the delayed super jump first where you slowly increase the delay in between interact and scroll wheel jump till you feel like you reliably know where the limit is to get a super jump. And only then try to introduce the 180 degree turn. At the start you will likely just hit a normal super jump while just turning around. Before you hit your first 90 degree ones. Then you know you're on the right track. And then it's just a matter of practice before you get more and more consistent with the fully turnaround ones. I also highly advise you to do it out of a standstill first. Then a crouch. Then a run and then out of a slide. Break it down into these steps to not get overwhelmed. The testing for this also revealed that you get a slightly bigger super jump if you do a delayed one. The longer time on the zip seems to be responsible for this. Till now our method to turn around of a super jump was to tap strafe out of it. But that doesn't nearly give you the same distance as an elite jump. But you can tap strafe out of an elite jump. This lets you get onto the top of the zipline shafts in the streamer buildings. Well, at least till they remove tap strafing next week. Elite jumping does not work of horizontal ziplines, but it does work of slanted ones, which could result in some very crazy clips, cause those give you even more momentum. With which comes my call to all of you to take elite jumping into real games and show us what you got. All right, thanks so much for watching. Go show some support to Button C and I will see you in the next video. Bye.